the Lions win 33-28 in New Orleans. And if any Lions fans had a sour taste in their mouth, Dan Campbell and company got it out early with a 21 nothing lead in the first half of the first quarter, which I think is you know the third time ever that three touchdowns were scored uh, in the first seven or eight minutes. What was kind of crazy was the other two times it happened since 2000 were both the Raiders, which I would ne- never have guessed that was the, the, the case. But the Lions get out to a big lead, and then New Orleans claws back and, and really makes an entertaining fourth quarter. But ultimately, Detroit... You know, Dan Campbell, we say sometimes his, his risk, risk-taking can be detrimental. But today on third and nine, throws the ball, you know, otherwise gives it back to New Orleans with about two minutes left in the game. But he picks up the first down, wins the game. That's what I'm begging O'Connell to do. Just win the game. You know, when you have an opportunity, get it done. Don't give the ball back to, to the other team if you, if you, yeah. if you can avoid it. Uh, so Detroit here, it's so crazy how, like, a little difference. If New Orleans comes back and wins... Sky's falling. It's chaos in Detroit. Now they win, and we go okay. You know, comfortable yeah, NFC win on North the road. Lead. Yeah, like uh, can this team go and win the NFC? <laughs> I mean, the the Lions early on in this game established what they wanted to. The Saints struggle with the run, and the Lions take pride in how good they can run the ball, how strong they can be up front. And right off the bat, we saw them running the ball. Got up to an immediate lead, twenty-one zip in the first what ten minutes of the game. And what Dan Campbell also has stressed is. In recent games, the Lions have not been great in the turnover battle. They've lost them. And today they won it. Forced a couple big turnovers in big spots, too. They got after Carr, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Saints had a good comeback, for sure. But the Lions were noticeably the better team. You're on the road. It was a good win overall. They, They took it to them early, and then, thank God, they ended up holding on. Good game. Sam Laporta stepped up big time. Sam Laporta was awesome today. Great game from Gibbs. The rookies played very well. Yeah, Sam Laporta is who Kyle Pitts was supposed to be, right? He's immediately stepped in and been one of the biggest receiving threats in the offense. Anyone who's gotten him in fantasy has to be pretty happy. But I am I think a lot of people are going to look at this second half of the Lions game and say, well, you know, the Lions, they're not a real contender. They almost lost to the Saints, whatever. It's clear they let things off the gas a little bit. Yeah. But what you needed to see from the Lions this game was a get right sort of game. Right, where they figure things out, they stop some of the troubles they've had and they stop the backsliding. They're nine and three. They're firmly in control of the division. They'll be just fine. And this was another game that showed it. You, you you got to see a little bit today too of how they've improved so much offensively, even from last year when they were coming on towards the end of the season. It's all the weapons they have with Laporta, Jameer Gibbs, uh, Jameson Williams on that end around. I'm going to right? I'm I'm scored. Touchdown. Jamison Williams, if he starts coming on, I, I, know he, I know he didn't have a huge game. That dude's so freaking fast. <laughs> when he turned on the Jets on the reverse touchdown, oh, yeah. I just sat back and went, oh my God, he could be a problem. If he ever figures it out, Detroit's got another one on their hands here. The playoff game Detroit has, whenever they play San, uh, San Francisco or Philadelphia, which I do expect to happen. I'd be surprised if anyone... Who's, who's going to be the their first first round matchup? It'll probably be Minnesota probably or Green at Bay home against like the Rams, right? Or, or the Rams? It'll yeah, because who will be the four? Probably. Oh my gosh, who, New Orleans or Tampa Saints, or yeah, Saints Atlanta. So yeah, would be the Seahawks. Maybe they'll they'll win that game when they go up against Philadelphia or San Francisco. I think you'll be able to tell pretty quickly whether or not they're going to be in that game. And the way they looked in the first quarter against New Orleans, bullying them around, that's exactly, like you said, that's exactly who Detroit wants to be. Yeah. And if they're able to match San Francisco and Philly, you know, toughness for toughness in the beginning of that playoff game, you could have a really fun rock fight on your hands. I can also see a situation where Goff comes out and gets destroyed. and Two or three picks. It's either going to be a great <laughs> game. There's no way Detroit blows out either of them. It'll either be a great game back and forth or they're going to get gets blown. blown out. I mean, to win in the NFC, you need to be strong and physical up front, Mm -hmm. which is a bit different than the AFC. And Detroit, that's their strength. That's what what they want their identity to be. They're big. They're physical. They want to run the ball. They have two good running backs, kind of a thunder and lightning type, uh, type group there with Gibbs and Montgomery. Saw that more today against New Orleans. They are able to push San Francisco and Philly, or at least capable of that, which not many other teams are. And Dallas, too. No, I don't think anyone else in the NF- NFC can, can say they can do that. Yeah, I, know, I agree. And it's been those three teams for a while now in the NFC. The past couple of years, it's been Philly, San Francisco, and Dallas. And the rest of the pack, Detroit has the capability of getting there. Though, yeah, now. they do. 
Any any closing takeaways on the the Lions, Ziggy? Or you? I'll uh, just Detroit say this: out? if if I'm a Lions fan, I am hoping that the 49ers do what they're supposed to and beat the Eagles, because that would open just a little bit of a window oh, for them to start game. looking at that one seed, look at the chance of getting that by. And while I don't trust this Detroit team to go into Philly and win, if they can somehow get that seed, Super Bowl's on in Detroit. Six nothing Philly right now. And if you're listening a day late, we are we record after the one o'clock game, so we'll know what happens, or you'll know what happens by the time you're you're listening. Philly to this was a reaction. home dog in the link, and you got a lot of what? crap for that too. What you got a lot of crap for that? Who do we'll you think see, had a early. better day? It's early. I mean, I mean, actually, what a great day for Michigan people. Lions win. Michigan's the one seed. Actually, I don't know. No, no, this is a way to screw over Michigan. Is it a great thing for Michigan people? I don't know. You see the reaction? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, Michigan's dead. Michigan Michigan's is dead. not happy. This is Michigan's a horrible dead. day for Michigan no, fans. Michigan's dead. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Nick Saban is getting a full month to prepare for J.J. McCarthy, and people are acting like Nick Saban's not about to win by double digits. You know, that game won't be close. Plus that, two and a half at yeah, open. That was going to blow them out. 